One month ago, I started a brand new $1,000 trading account so that I could show you exactly what was possible using stock mines for trading stocks. I was able to achieve over 200% return, and in this video, I'm going to break down all the trades, what I did, and the strategies I used so that you can implement these yourself. Before I get into any of the specifics of all the trades that I made and the strategies I used, here are some of the stats for what happened in the month. We had a total of 223% return. So we started with $1,000 and then we ended up having $3,230. So $2,230 profit. We had a win rate of 74%. Average win was around 9% and the average loss was around 7% and we made a total of 39 trades. Out of all 25 days within this past month, we ended up having four days where we never made any trades. There wasn't any that were coming up, so we didn't trade. And then there was one holiday. So realistically, we had one whole week where we didn't even trade. So it's more so like three weeks and not a month, but anyways, a month of time has passed. First up on the highlights of the month, we have RDZN on July 2nd. It wasn't a particularly high probability trade that came up on stock mines, but it was higher probability of moving down at the open, and it was following the predicted movement that stock mines gave, so it was a favorable trade to make. You can I'll throw a clip of the actual trade up but you can see all the trades that I make are recorded and you can see exactly what happened on our YouTube channel. Now, this middle white line is what it was predicted to move down to roughly at 935. And then it was supposed to come back up and move up a considerable amount. It came right within the range. We have this upper white line, lower white line, that's the range where Stockmines suggests that it is predicted to move to. And then the entry was at 230, which is this top white line. So we bought it right around here and we took our profits along the way for a 21% return. First profit, uh, second profit and third profit we took relatively close together because it wasn't as high a probability trade I wanted to lock in more gains than to just wait for it to hit all the profits, but it would have worked out anyways. And you can see here, the first profit alone was 9% return. Then we took some at 17%. And the final profit was at a 38% return, which is nuts. Next up on the highlights, we have SNGX. SNGX, we had two different trades within this same day, um, and I'll put a clip up of both of them so that you can see what happened, or you can check them out, but there was no data that was coming up for an actual trade that StockMines provides, um, but it was providing a candlestick prediction. So if, as in addition to the other data, that StockMines provides. There is a candlestick prediction chart as to how the stock is predicted to move throughout the day um, based on StockMines AI analysis. It was following this predicted movement very well, almost to the minute, and that indicated that it was a favorable trade to make. So I bought it after it dipped down as predicted, and then I took almost all my profits at the same price um, to lock them in because it uh, it wasn't given as an actual trade for profit one, profit two, profit three, and so on. So I wanted to make sure that I got profits because um, I didn't know how it was supposed to move. <clears throat> now, it continued throughout the day to follow as stock mines provided. And at one o'clock, it was predicted to come up and break a new high of day based on this candlestick chart. So one o'clock comes around, it starts to move up towards the high of day. I entered and then 
like literally a minute later. It spikes straight up and we made another 13%. I believe this first trade was around 26% and this next trade was around 13% and we got out again, almost all of our shares roughly at the same price um, to lock in because it's moving. We don't have a solid prediction as to how it's supposed to be moving, but it was following how the candlestick chart was showing. So that was SNGX, a very profitable day. The next up we have VRPX. VRPX was a textbook stock mines trade. It was the highest probability trade out of all the tickers that were coming up on stock mines and it was more likely to move up at the open. So what stock mines suggests, buy it right at the open, take the profits along the way, that's it. It ended up doing exactly that. So I bought it right at the open, hit all the profits, and we ended up having a 24% return. Very straightforward. The trade was given in the pre-market, we followed exactly what stock mines gave, and we got some great returns. Next up, we have SERV, which was on July 19th. SERV was a, it was the only ticker that was coming up with data um, a few minutes before the market opened. It wasn't very favorable, it didn't have a high probability, it was rated poorly, but it was more likely to move down at the open. So we waited to see what would happen at market open. It started to move within the range that stock mines provided. We entered at this green line and um, and then it ended up hitting all the profits. Profit four we took. Um, it actually had profit four at 629, but what we did was we took a our profit three early to lock in um, more returns because it wasn't a highly rated trade on stock mines. So we just were a little bit more conservative and a little bit more conservative still gave a 19% return um, before 11 a.m., which is insane. Now, the stock mines trade that was provided had a stop loss that would have hit just barely right around here, and then you would have had to re enter again at the suggested entry price that stock mines provided. You could have done it that way, or because the stop loss that stock mines provided was a little bit tighter or closer to your entry price, you could have set your stop loss a few cents lower um, because sometimes the stock mines AI will provide you with a safer stop loss and you might get stopped out. Regardless, very successful trade and definitely was a perfect ending to this month. First up, how do I pick which stock to trade. Based on all the stocks that are coming up on stock mines, the number one rule is to look for the ones that are the highest probability because you would want to make decisions that where the probability is in your favor. So I would pick the highest probability overall trade that there is. If I'm trading multiple tickers, then I would pick the highest probability and the second highest probability. If I am looking specifically for a move up trade because trades where the stock is predicted to move up at the market open happens first and then the move down trades you have to wait for it to follow the movement that stock mines provides i would look for the highest probability move up trades if there's nothing coming up for either of those on the main stock mines page i would then look at the highest probability that's coming up on the trades page if I'm split in my decision and both are relatively close in probability or there's multiple that are relatively close and they're all predicted to move up at the open or down at the open, I would make a decision based on what is trading at the highest relative volume. The higher the volume, the larger, usually the larger potential move and it's more liquid so I can get in and out of the trade easier. For the move down trades, typically I would wait for the trade 
to follow the predicted stock lines movement and those are the ones that I would enter. Even if they're not as high probability, I would enter them as they are following the predicted movement. The second thing you want to look for in strategy is choosing how to trade each of the stocks. You've already picked which stocks you want to trade, but now how do you trade them? There's lots of different ways that you can use the stock mines information because there's lots of stock mines information. So I purposefully traded lots of different ways so that I can show you you can still be profitable using all these different methods. First up, the simplest way that you can do it is to just trade the high probability ones that are and trade them exactly how it's predicted to move. So if it's predicted to move up, you take that trade. If it's predicted to move down, you take that trade. If you were to do that, we, out of all the trades that I made within the month, I had a 92% return. Alternatively, you can also trade using method one or two, which is provided on the StockMinds platform. Method one being you buy it as if it's gonna move up at the open, so you buy it at the open. And then if it doesn't follow that movement and you don't take your profits, then you would add, your sh add more shares at the entry of the move down and your stop loss would be lower. So you have a little bit of a higher risk, but you then take advantage of the movement if it goes either way. Method two is similar. You trade it as if it's the move up. If it gets stopped out, you buy it again on the move down entry after it's followed the predicted movement. If you were to trade it that way, StockMinds had a 21% return for all of the trades within this past month. So all the trades that I made in this past month had a 21% return for the ones that I took that were method one or method two. In addition to just trading as it's predicted or following method one or method two, you can also have multiple attempts on trades or re-enter based on the stock following the predicted movement. So I'll throw up on the screen a predicted movement. For a move up, let's say it's predicted to move up to whatever price, and then it's supposed to reverse down. You could re-enter on that reverse down on the assumption that it would continue to follow the stock mines prediction and then move back up. So that could be a trade that you would make. Or if it's a move down trade, and it gets stopped out, you re-enter again, such as the one highlighted trade that I had on SERV. Using these re-entering or multiple attempts uh, based on the predicted movement and the stock following the predicted movement, all the trades that I made using that provided a 53% return. And lastly, you can use the candlestick predictions. So. There's the simple movements that I showed you, and then there's also the candlestick predictions that StockMinds provides. These candlestick predictions are a little bit more difficult for you to make successful trades in terms of the experience with trading and using StockMinds, but if you see that a stock is following how the candlestick chart is predicted to look for that ticker, you can trade it accordingly and be profitable. And I think there was a total of three of those that I made out of the whole 39 trades, but those three trades provided a 40% return overall. So there's multiple different ways that you can use the information and combining them all to trade in a lot of different ways can be very profitable, but you can also pick individual ways and still be extremely profitable. Finally, I have a few more pointers and things that I did that can be helpful for strategy when using stock mines and trading using stock mines. Firstly, I started with $1,000. You could start with less, you could start with more, but it is still a relatively small account. Because it was a relatively small account, I would typically take trades that use the entire account, the entire $1,000. So if I was trading two tickers that day, I would split whatever money I had in that account between the two tickers. And this would maximize the growth at this early, smaller stage of the account. 
this is this is riskier you could end up losing a larger chunk of your account by doing this but in the when you're starting out with a smaller account it also allows you to grow much quicker so that you can make trades that can supplement income or whatever your goals may be faster i also was flexible with my profits and stop losses so i didn't necessarily have the limit orders in for profits and i didn't necessarily have my stop losses in um, solid throughout the trade and this is because a lot of uh, brokers do not allow you to use bracket orders and i know some stock minds members don't have the ability to use bracket orders or they can or they're only allowed to trade less so they can only take one or two profits so i wanted to show that you could still be profitable with stock mines without having that capability i would still get out if the stop loss price was reached or if i um, was a little bit more flexible i would have my stop loss a little bit lower take profit a little bit higher or a little bit lower um, but that's just to show you that you can just use the stock mines predicted moves and still be profitable. You don't necessarily have to follow the exact prices that stock mines provides, but if you are to follow them, like some of the trades that I made, you can still be very profitable. So overall, one month we were able to triple our account value using stock mines information and only making trades using stock mines information, which is absolutely insane. You can watch all the videos, everything is documented. Um, and even better, Stock Minds is $50 a month. So when you pay $50 a month, you make these trades, you could end up making way more than that. Easily pay for two year subscription of Stock Minds using the profits from one month. There are multiple payment options. You can pay weekly, monthly, yearly, or every six months. And um, you could even check out our Discord for free. So feel free to check out all that, all of the stuff that we provide. Um, and you can even feel free to contact me and I can help you. You could try out Stock Minds. And um, yeah, hope this was a helpful video. And uh, let me know if you want me to continue to grow this account or if you want me to try a very specific strategy using stock mines um, or grow with a smaller account. I could start with $100. I could start with a larger commission. Um, I know there's lots of different scenarios that people are in and um, I'd be happy to try out lots of different scenarios to show you how powerful stock mines is. Anyways, catch you guys later.